three, two, one. Here we go! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Juan Carlito Mendoza. Thanks for tuning in. If you dig what you see on this channel, consider subscribing, all that good stuff. However, we got a lot of work to do today. So this is episode three. If you haven't checked out episode one or two, I'll leave the cards towards the end. That way you can check that out to kind of review and uh, catch you up. In episodes one and two, we dealt with a lot of snare drum exercises and then we kind of did a couple fills. However, in this episode, we're gonna deal with a lot of grooves. So in the first part of this video, I'm gonna demonstrate all these exercises slowly. And then towards the second part of the video, I'm gonna play these at performance tempo. So don't forget to actually practice all the tempos in between. And remember that this is gonna be a process in your journey. So what you see here is the actual final result. With all that being said, I also put a playlist together that has all the tracks and I'll leave all that in the description box. Also in the description box, you'll see a PDF link. You can download it and follow along with me. You can download it onto your tablet or if you want, you can print it out as well. Finally, I wanna leave you with a question of the day. What is one drumming technique that every drummer should know no matter what style or genre they play and why? Leave a comment below. I can't wait to hear your responses. With all that being said, let's get to work, y'all. In example one, we're gonna play stick control exercises five and six. Notice that each right hand is now being replaced by a bass drum and each left hand is being replaced by a snare drum. In addition, we're gonna add accents on beats two and four, which will give us our backbeat, and our right hand is gonna be playing on all the ands or the upbeats. One final tip to make this groove, make sure that the unaccented notes are soft and the accented notes are a little bit louder. In example two, we're gonna play stick control exercises seven and eight, and now we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna replace all the right hands with a bass drum, all the left hands with a snare drum. Again, we'll add accents on beats two and four, and now the right hand will play on all the down beats. In example three, we're gonna play stick control exercises five and six. Notice the right hand is on the hi-hat, the left hand is on the snare. We're also gonna add an accent on beat three and that's gonna give us a halftime feel. The bass drum will play on the downbeat of one, the uh of one, and the and of two. With all that being said, let's hear how this sounds. In example four, we're gonna play stick control exercises seven and eight. Again, we'll add the accent on beat three to give us the halftime feel. In addition, we'll add a bass drum on the downbeat of one, the and of two, and the of four. In example five, we're gonna play stick control exercises five and six. If you notice, the right hands are now being substituted by bass drums and the left hands are being substituted by snare drums. In addition, we're gonna add accents on beats two and four that will give us our back beats. And our right hand is now playing eighth notes on the hi-hat.
In example six, we're gonna play stick control exercises seven and eight. We're gonna substitute all the right hands for bass drums. The left hands will be substituted for snare drums. And again, we'll put accents on beats two and four. In addition, the right hand is going to be playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. In example seven, we're gonna play stick control exercises five and six. However, we're gonna play it in a fill. In beat one, the first right hand is gonna be on the floor tom, the rest of it will be on the snare drum. In beat two, we start with a left hand on the high tom, and then the rest of it will be on the snare drum. In beat three, we'll start with a right hand on the floor tom, then two left hands on the snare drum, and then one right hand on the floor tom. And in beat four, we'll play a left hand on the snare drum, and then the rest of it will be on the floor tom. In example eight, we're gonna play stick control exercises seven and eight. However, we're gonna change the subdivision. So now our subdivision is going to be sextuplets. In addition, in order to fit the full sticking, we have to start the fill on the third partial of the sextuplet in B2. So as you can see, once we start in the appropriate place, we can fit the whole sticking in there. Also, I added accents to the sticking in order to give it a different vibe. So notice in the first grouping, I put the accents on the last two notes. In the next grouping, notice I put the accents on the third and fourth note. And in the last grouping, I put it in the first, the fourth, and the sixth note. Another thing I want you to keep in mind is that if you're gonna play a crash on the downbeat of one, make sure it's on the left hand. It makes it a little bit easier. With all that being said, let's hear how this sounds. Now let's hear all these examples in musical applications.
Thanks for checking out this video lesson. For more lesson materials, you can check out my website, carlitomendoza.com. If you dig what you see on this channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell notifications, all that good stuff. We're trying to get to 100K so we can give a huge giveaway. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.